Okay, so once um, the cellular response has been brought about, we can't just leave the protein kinases um, phosphorylated. We have to get them back to their inactive state, so that way we can um, do the signal transduction pathway all over again. So let's go back um, and take away all of these things. So if we're left with just the uh, phosphorylated protein kinases, we need to figure out how to inactivate them. Now protein kinase A, which was the first one, if you remember, it was activated by cyclic AMP. Well, cyclic AMP has its own enzyme uh, that will turn cyclic AMP into just AMP. And when that happens, um, the first protein kinase A is back in its inactive form. Now, to dephosphorylate the rest of the protein kinases in the phosphorylation cascade, we have a separate enzyme. And this enzyme is called protein pho phosphatases. <laughs> and this enzyme's job is to break off or dephosphorylate uh, the protein kinase. So, it goes through, uh, breaks off the phosphate, and now protein kinase 2 is in its inactive form. Same thing will happen with the other protein kinases. Go back to their inactive forms. And now the signal transduction pathway is all ready to occur all over again.